up all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general, welcome to Topic Tackle. And my take for today is on the top five most egregious examples of NBA stars who were ranked lower than role players in high school. I looked all the way back to 2003 to compile this list and there are some crazy examples of this, so stay tuned. This video today really will show you the KD quote that hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. So even if you play in high school right now and aren't ranked, or rank lower in your class, just keep working. I'm not making this to say that those who are highly ranked in high school aren't good anymore in the NBA as role players because we just don't understand how hard it is to make it into the league. It's just to show that some exceeded expectations and made the jump over their competition to become NBA stars and some didn't. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and comment your feedback down below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about this list. Coming in at five are number three ranked DeMarcus Cousins and number two ranked John Wall in the class of 2009. Their ratings were a thousandth of a point off, but Wall's .993 rating still fell four thousandths of a point from the number one ranked player. Derek Favors. Wall and Cousins have a combined seven all-star appearances and have made three all-NBA teams in their careers. Favors has averaged 11.4 points per game and 7.2 rebounds per game in seven seasons with no all-star appearances. John Wall did leap in front of him in the 2010 NBA draft though as he was selected first overall. Favors was third and Cousins was fifth. Number four on the list goes to Rockets point guard Chris Paul who is ranked 11th in the class of 2003. The nine-time All-Star, nine-time All-Defensive Team, eight-time All-NBA in 2005-06 Rookie of the Year was ranked behind multiple NBA role players such as Leon Poe, Charlie Villanueva, Kendrick Perkins, Shannon Brown, and Luol Deng. The most memorable moment from Paul's high school career was his 61-point performance for his grandfather in 2002 after he was murdered at the age of 61. Paul stepped to the line with 61 points at the end of the game and airballed the free throw in an emotional game, an incredible performance. Number three comes from the class of 2007, where James Harden was ranked 14th behind, here we go, Costa Kufos, J.J. Hickson, Patrick Patterson, Nick Calathis, Dante Green, Kyle Singler, Derek Rose, Michael Beasley, O.J. Mayo, and Eric Gordon. By no means no disrespect to the guys ranked ahead of him, but man, that's rough. The amount of money does not determine how good a player is. Look at Carmelo, but James Harden just signed a four-year $228 million extension and none of those players have, so you get the point. Number two is a great example because it's right at the top of the rankings, the top two players in the class of 2010. Kyrie Irving came in at two with a .9992 rating, which fell just short of the number one ranked, second coming of Michael Jordan, the one and only Harrison Barnes, who is rated, wait for it, .9999, a near perfect rating for this man. Okay, the Jordan comparisons were mainly because he went to UNC, and was more highly touted coming into college than Jordan was, and the end of this Bleacher Report article was spot on, and that time told us that Barnes is not the next MJ. Kyrie was selected number one overall in the 2011 draft, while Barnes stayed two years at North Carolina and was selected seventh overall in 2012 by the Warriors. In the end, Kyrie is Uncle Drew, and he hit the shot of the 2016 finals in game seven to bury Barnes' Warriors in that old high school ranking. Number one gets a little complicated because there was just so much going on with the class of 2006, like, I don't even know what to tell you, but first of all, Stephen Curry was ranked 260. If you don't know his rise to elite, then check it out. Almost lost in the middle of all the role players ranked above Steph is the 2017 NBA MVP, Russell Westbrook at 137. And we haven't even reached the top of the list, which includes the 2017 NBA Finals MVP, Kevin Durant, ranked number two with a .9996 rating, only behind one Greg Oden who scored a perfect 1.0 rating. The only other perfect ratings since 2003 are held by LeBron, Dwight Howard, and Andrew Wiggins. The high school rating held to form as Durant was selected second overall to the Supersonics in the 2007 NBA Draft, and Oden went first to the Trailblazers. I'm not going to pile on Greg Oden as he personally admits that he is the biggest bust in NBA history, and it's sad, man. His body just couldn't hold up. There are so many what ifs with those late 2000s Blazers teams, with Brandon Roy also. I might even make a video on that in the future. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments and hit that like button. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What would your list look like? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. And we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!